Nobody, nobody like you do. Mm. All right, then we on. Welcome back to Pole Paul Ticking, your home for self help meets hip hop. Right now, we're live on iTunes, on Twitch. But check us out on YouTube, Spotify, where we listen to podcasts. One, two, one, two, I'm a place to be with suspense. How you doing? I'm good, my good brother, man. Thanks for having me. No doubt. I see you left the E out. Is that for a reason? Man, because everybody put the E at the end. Plus, you know, uh, shorten it up a little bit. All right. Yeah, I like the backdrop. How you come up with that back? Where you, where you at right now with that backdrop? I'm in my studio. Yeah, you got the great you got, studio. You got PNB yeah, Rock on there too, huh? Yeah, yeah. This this like all the uh all the all well not all of them, but but some of the some of the folks that died that inspired me. Yeah, you missing you missing Pimp C. I, I say I'm missing a lot. Pimp C, one <laughs> of them, man. I couldn't get them all on there though. I fucks with Pimp C though. For sure. You want the first down south people I was fucking with like that. Cause you know I'm from I'm from Philly. Yeah, I was just about to ask you where you from. I saw the Eagles hat. Okay. Yeah, I'm from Philly. So man. You, you an Eagles raised. fan? Hell yeah, I'm an Eagles fan all day. How long all you been day. an Eagles fan? Man, all all my life. Since I started watching football, since I was real little. So you know about you know about Jerome Brown, Reggie White and all them? Yeah, man. Hell yeah. About, about Cunningham. All right, Cunningham, sure, hell yeah, Randall Cunningham. All he right. slept on too, man. People sleep on Cunningham, man. They thought he just was a running quarterback, man. He, he could thread the needle too, though. Yeah, you can't. I mean, shit. You want to have no Michael Vick, you ain't have no Cunningham. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, but- that's 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 why I like our quarterback now, man. We 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 keep it on the tradition of them quarterbacks they know how to run. Yeah, I would say even but, but with Cunningham, that shit was worse because Cunningham was playing back in the day. So Cunningham was really getting hit out there. Cunningham was running for his life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> White folks ain't blocked for him. They did the same thing. They did the same thing with Cam too. Cam, yeah. he had to get like he he get hit hard as hell every fucking play. But then you had the the quarterbacks that don't run, they barely get hit and they get personal foul left and right. But Cam. He had to get spine busted and power bombed out there for a personal fight. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I feel bad for that man, man. All right. I think he should so, still be playing. Well, shit, I think he making up. He making a lot of money off them podcasts now because I think before he was like, um, they was talking about him going to the Jets, and he was like seven million ain't enough for one year. So I'm like, shit, he must be making some money off that podcast. Turned down seven million. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, it's a lot of money in that. If if uh, if you got if you if you famous, they, he already famous, so he already gonna get them them um, fans automatically. All right, so let us know how you got into how you got into uh, music, your background a little bit. Um, shit. When I was when I was young, like um, I say like 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 twelve, I started listening to Easy E and N.W.A. <laughs> and I was feeling them because uh. Cause they like you know before that it was more political type rappers, but they came out talking this shit that I was like really seeing going on in Philly. I was seeing people get smoked, like a lot of my friends getting smoked when I was like twelve years old already. So I'm like, damn, these these niggas saying the real shit. So um, yeah, I, I started liking that man. But there's a so you you went to you like the NWA even though you was in Philly. Yeah, I like NWA, even though I'm from Philly, man. That's that's my uh that's my favorite rap group to this day. A lot of people think I'm crazy. They they think I should say Wu Tang, but Wu Tang my second favorite, the NWA. Okay, okay, okay. Then what made how you started rapping? Um man, like when I was like 12 years old, like the older kids were rapping in the schoolyard, and I start I start rapping too, and I was keeping up with them. And then um a promoter, like a promoter from my hood. He heard about me and he start he, he start having me open up at shows. So I, I opened up for like some of the some of the um greats back in the day. I opened up for Big Daddy Kane and Roxanne Sante when I was 13. Yeah. What was your what was your name back then? Was it the same name? No, nah, back then, um man, I had a couple names. Like uh like I was just a kid, like I guess the one that stuck was 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 wacky ways. My some old gangster gangster dude from my block named me Wacky Wade. <laughs> no, 
So that's my man, first you know, name when I was 13. It was a crazy man because like, I was just going back the other day and I was watching the Rap City from like 93. So they, uh-huh. somebody, somebody put an old Rap Cities on YouTube. But man, I was like, damn, well, these, it was so many kids rappers. Like, I think when they first, like when Rap City first came out, that's like, it's like most of the rappers, like every video I saw, say it was like 10 videos. It was like eight of them were like kids. And I was like, damn, I ain't know that many kids rappers back in the day. But they was really trying to, like, I don't think they, like, they're not pushing it like, like that hard, like back then. Like back then, it was like, it was almost like, I think they right. thought that you had to be an under, a young rapper to make it. Because it was like hella young rappers. And I was like, who are all these right. rappers? I just heard of them. I heard about, you heard about Legal? It was a rap group. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah one, one, one of them, one of them from my city, Jamal. Jamal from, from yeah, Philly. Jamal, the one that um he did. So I saw he did. I, um, I saw the group and I was like, who are them? So I just looked him up and I saw he did a lot of stuff with Beanie Siegel and stuff. Mm-hmm. He did production and stuff. But I was just like, where are these kids groups coming from? And that's why, like me personally, I just like looking back them because I, I'm pretty sure a lot of them cats still in the game. We just don't know. Like they're not rapping no more, but they. Still in the game well, somehow the production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I yeah. like that. But I ain't I ain't get the blow, man, because my mom shut it down. Like, like I, I wound up um I wound up meeting public enemy and I rapped for them for like for like a half hour till they said, All right, all right, shorty, you got it. And um I ran home and told my mom because before then I was sneaking to the shows. Like saying I was spending the night at my at my homie crib and I was sneaking to the shows doing the shows. But I ran home and told my mom that, and she was like, no, nah, ain't no son of mine gonna be no rapper. And if I catch yeah. you there, promote that again, your uncle's gonna lay him down. So so I had to fall back till I, you know, till after I got out of high school. What you think about it now, looking back at Um, I'm still mad as shit at my mom for that, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I mean, you know, back then, like, they probably, you know, nobody really thought, what, what uh, Biggie said, whoever thought hip hop would take us this far? Yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. back then that's just like just like I don't know, you know, I don't know how old you are, but I remember back in the day they was like, You can't sit there and play video games all day and think you're gonna make some money. Shit. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these kids making money. Yeah, one all of my video homies games. Son making good money over that shit. Yeah, so they, they was always saying that back in the day, but now like shit. But I would say um uh, I was talking about beans and I know like um I'm a fan of like um just stay State property, Chris and Neef. Um, what about mm-hmm. I know Will Smith is from Philly. What about the Philly cast? Did any of them influence you? Definitely Beanie Siegel, man. It's crazy when um when when Siegel still first came out, like before his first album came out, um my my wife, her her uh, sister in law, she was cool with Beanie Siegel managers. Matter of fact, she was fucking Beanie Siegel manager. And she set me up a meeting with them to play some beats because I, I was a producer back then too. I still make beats now, but I was really heavy into it back then. And I went to him and I presented the beats and, and Beanie Siegel here was bobbing like a motherfucker, but but the manager wasn't with it. He I, I tell he he already had producers like his young boys and mine. So yeah I said you ain't fuck with at the same time you was dealing with uh you was competing against Young Flames, Kanye West, um then they have another cat that was, he was doing all they beats too. So you was you was competing with all them cats too for um placements. And the crazy part about it though, yeah, yeah, I was competing with a lot. Of it them was them, but it was them when they um they were still kind of unknown because even, right. even like people don't understand. Like, I always be like, you know how Jay Z came out of the blueprint. Mm-hmm. The first blueprint was reason. Right. That's what. They the reason was the first blueprint. That's when the first that first album with all them soul beats came out. And then I think Jay-Z heard that and he's like, okay, this is a good sound. And he just kept going with it. But the first re- um, blueprint was the reason, as far as like just the soul beats in my yeah. eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. So he had, I'm just looking at who I was on that album. Um, the the reason. Kanye West, Jess Blaze, Rick Rock, 88 Keys, Nord ID, Shy Money. So yeah, you had some competition. Was yeah, it, do yeah. you know what year it was? That had to be like about. That had to be about two thousand. Yeah, two thousand. <laughs> Even his first album had uh, Kanye West, Just Blaze, Blink, Rockwell, shit. So you, they was they you was competing. Shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I know if it was up the beans, I would have been. I I would have had a couple beats on that album because he. 
he was feeling my beats, man. But it wasn't his decision. You know what I mean? Yeah, so beans. Are, beans are like one of my favorites, man. I'm like, um, I was sad, like his voice kind of messed up. But I guess he, um, he's talking about using him and DOC talking about using the AI for their voices now. They gonna yeah. put out some new music. I think that's good for them because I, I mean, Beanie, like I said, Beanie was one of my favorites. I still, I like his old stuff. He was tight. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, he helped put Philly on the map. I don't know if you know my boy, man. I just interviewed him like um, I want to say a couple months ago. He in Philly too. He R and B singer named Rick Raw. He be singing like the uh, Raw. Rick nah. Raw. Nah. Yeah, he be singing like all the hood songs, but he be flip. He be flipping them to R and B songs. He be turning them to hood songs and shit. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm a little. I'm a little out of touch because I I'm, I moved to uh I moved I moved to Florida a while ago. Oh, okay. I don't, go, I don't get back up there as much as I as I used to. Oh, so you yeah. moved to Florida when LeBron went to Miami, huh? I moved. I I've been in Florida for a long time. I used to when I first moved down here. I used to go home like several times a year, but as the years went by and by, like I ain't been home in a couple years now. Um, last time I went home was when my grandma died, and that yeah, that was almost two years ago. Yeah, but um, yeah, I had moved to Miami. I live in North Florida now. I bought a house. I said, how long have you been over there? I've been in I've been in Florida for like fifteen years. Oh man, been, yeah. So you both be rocking the Dolphins uh, beanie right now. Gee, man, I'm I'm Philly forever, dog. But Jaguars, you, which one? Oh, you close definitely to? not no Jaguars. When I first moved, now I fucks with the Miami Heat, not over the Sixers, because when I first moved down there, you um, should. I moved down there. I moved down there to get. I moved down there before LeBron got there, man. Yeah, I moved down there before LeBron got there. Right after they won um the first chip with Dwayne Wade. That's when yeah, I moved after down. they still had Wade, Wade though. So they they've been raw. Yeah. And it's crazy because my fucking son actually played against um uh Bronny James when I had my son playing um ball and shit. Yeah. Y'all yep. and um how you doing? in the league and you know the little kitty league they be having. How you doing? Yeah, Brian was in the building. That shit that shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. It's your son. Was was that? Was your son guarding him like one on one? No, my son wasn't guarding him. No, my son oh. wasn't guarding. Him. I would say how he do how how many numbers he had on his his team got smoked. His team got smoked. Ronnie was nice back then. He wasn't even the best player on the team. He was the second best player on the team, but he was he was in there doing his thing. So how would you how would you describe your yourself as an artist? Um. Shit, I, I I I say I'm a mixture, man. I I I keep it street. I, I try to put a little consciousness in there. You know what I mean? Um, shit, I I, I tell you best probably from my influences. Um, shit, I'm influenced by by gangster rappers and and um social conscious rappers. If you want to take it all the way back to when I first started, like um people like Karis One, Public Enemy, uh Big Daddy Kane, the to uh and then you want to. To NWA, then when you want to bring a little closer, um, take it down south. People, Ti, Jeezy, um, you, you, um, definitely Beans. I fuck with Beans. You know what I mean? Um, Wu Tang, like so. I, you know, I got some little mixture of, of of all that. You know. Yeah, I, th- I used to think like when I was younger, I used to always just think uh, KRS One was like straight conscious, and then I heard that song my nine millimeter go bang, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Yeah. Like, oh yeah, his I first like, album was hood. The joint we holding up and when he holding the fucking on AK, that joint is that joint the street. Yeah, he changed up when his friend died, right? He changed up kind of yeah. a little bit. Yeah, that's when he changed Tyler up. Tyler Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So so uh just let like so what are you trying like what do you want the people to know about you as an artist? Um I'm man, I'm different, dog. I I keep it real. I say what's going on in the world. I say what's going on in the streets. What I see, uh, how I grew up, how a lot of the, this shit, how I rap now, a lot of that shit, how I grew up, is um is 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 bullshit. That shit gonna get you killed and locked up. But you know, and make a good story right nowadays. You know what I mean? So uh, you know, if, if good beats, man, like uh uh. Some East Coast, and I, I I I try to keep a variety. And um, one thing I've been told, I don't sound like nobody. So if you want to hear somebody that there's, you want to hear a refreshing sound that don't sound like nobody that that's original, that's going to be saying something, not just no mumble jumbo shit or or um 
a whole bunch of um imaginary shit that, that they ain't really got where ain't really got going on and um yeah check me out for sure for sure for some banging ass beats what what's going on in your world right now like what do you what you see right now in the world that you want to speak on um world is on some bullshit like uh rich people trying to keep the poor people um poor um I don't know if you heard the song. The song I um that I got out now, um, I can't breathe. Can't breathe. Yeah. 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 Yes. So um, um, you know, I'm I'm sick of the bullshit. How people get stomped on, taken advantage of, whether it's from the cops, whether it's from um uh, record labels, whether it's from the politicians. Um, and and both of them on some bullshit. I feel like the I feel like the Democrats just pull the wool over um black people's eyes, acting like they for us, but they they. They in our pockets worse than the Republicans. At least the Republicans is honest with it. You know what I'm saying? And um, and I'm sick of the bullshit. Like um, like how they how they put so much bullshit. Cause I'm like I'm a, I'm an old head now, OG now. How they put so much bullshit in the um, in the kids' faces, man. From um, acting like it's like it's uh, cool to to wear dresses and be feminine to sell to sell records and. All that type of shit, man. Like I, I, I just try to speak on it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm for the people. I'm pro-black. What can I say? Militant. Hmm. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on these days in the world. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You, oh, you go in and out sure. a little bit, but for the most part, I can hear you. Yeah, I wonder why I'm going in and out. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, man. So shit. I was gonna say, um, uh, was when you did the I can't breathe, are you doing that with like was you talking about George Floyd or you were talking about the other guy that got killed? I lose track of them now. It's like so many people that got killed. I'm talking about all of them, you know what I mean? Um, I just I just uh I just used the George Floyd background because it actually had it's actually said I can't breathe. But um the song ain't just about George Floyd. That that last verse see the song as long as shit i i was having a badass fucking week man and then on on top of that my son dropped a bomb on me some bullshit so um i was, I was mad as shit i wanted to go hurt somebody i just came in the booth um went through some beats and that's that's the beat that that like damn this i feel some pain in this beat man i went in the booth from damn near freestyle that song man feel you i want to i want if you had a video for you don't got no video for it yet right no, but I, I just start shooting it. The weather been bad down here, so I ain't get the I wanted to finish it already, but um I'm gonna finish it up by this weekend and edit it up and, and have it out by um by Monday. It's, I'm I'm gonna put it up by Monday. Man, what you what you like about living in Florida? Oh man, it's um it's a completely different world from Philly, man. It's um yeah, Philly is fucked up. It's uh it's dirty, it's everybody like trying to kill you. Stab you in the back. Florida is beautiful, man. Palm trees, nice weather. Um, women dressing half naked all year. Uh, the cops ain't as vicious as they are in in Philly and a lot of other um, like really, really, really urban places. I mean, don't get it twisted. I ain't saying I ain't saying like Miami and Florida is off for nothing, but it's it's just a different vibe. It's just a better, it's just a better atmosphere and a and a, and a better lifestyle down here, man. Yeah, I want to say I might be wrong with the name, but it's like one place it, they be showing it on the, on, the, on YouTube. I think it's Kingston, uh -huh. Pennsylvania, and them uh -huh. guys be like, um, I guess they got some drug and it's like fentanyl and uh -huh. some some horse tranquilizer. Man, yeah. that whole city, them fools walking around, them fools like zombies outside. It be this guy on YouTube, he just go on YouTube and walk around the city. Man, uh -huh. the whole city like walking dead, like for real. Wow. That drug turned them out. Yeah, they doing. I'm saying fentanyl and tranquilizer. I don't know the fuck who, who the fuck thought of that shit. <laughs> wow, man. Yeah, yeah so, like I said, it's crazy. Like he just he be on there for hours. He just walk around the city. I ain't never seen no city like that. I mean, it's like hundreds of addicts outside. Like they just be sleeping on the floor, sleeping on each other. They just be like lay, laid over. All and fucked up. You, what you part of Pennsylvania that? is that? I want to say Kingston. Kensington, that's in Philly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kensington, yeah, yeah, yeah Kensington. It. Hell yeah, Kensington, crazy like that. But I don't know about this new drug you're talking about. But Kensington always been been like that from heroin addicts. 
Yeah, heroin they, addicts just be on Kansas and Ed. Yeah. That shit looking crazy out there. But yeah, yeah somebody crazy, um, man. just type that shit in on YouTube. You'll see it. somebody making, somebody posting it like daily pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got um, I I got some family members that live off Kensington Avenue. I I didn't last time I was home, I I was on Kensington Avenue. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's just how it is. Miami, you don't gotta worry about no hurricanes or nothing. Yeah, it's it's mad hurricanes, man. But. I, that's why I was like, I don't know about no going to Miami because I don't really want to. I mean, we I'm in California, so I got the earthquakes, but that don't really happen like that. Earthquakes and fires, man. It ain't it ain't no worse than that, man. Shit, no that. man. The earthquake, you don't even be knowing earthquake happened, man. The earthquake be like two seconds, then you be like, oh shit, it's earthquake. By the time you figure out the earthquake, it's over. Well, look, I just, like- I just survived every hurricane that came through, and um, and 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 I'm cool, you know. That should knock down some trees and and I mean they used to it down there now, so they done built the houses and apartments and all that shit to withstand them. So it ain't like houses and roofs and shit be coming off, coming apart and off no more. You know what I mean? That's the thing of the past. So it, it ain't it ain't as bad, you know. Worst thing that might happen, you might you might be out of electric for a couple of days or whatever, but you you know, you just prepare for that with generators and stock up your food, you know. How is Florida for you remember, I remember st- you we was talking about, we was talking about your song, but you remember with Trayvon, the Stand Your Ground Law, how was like, how's all that going down out there now? Yeah, I mean, the Trayvon shit was some bullshit, but um, I mean, that's just certain parts of Florida, you're going to go through some bullshit, just like certain parts of everywhere. But, um, you know, I made sure, I made sure when I lived in Miami, like, well, Miami was cool. Man. I, ain't, I ain't really look, ain't really no prejudice down there. That's a melting pot. And now I, I live in I live in North Florida now, and um, my neighborhood's straight, man. You know, and I live in all white, like upper middle class neighborhood, but it's straight. They don't they don't fuck with me or fuck with my son or nothing like that, man. Matter of fact, um, my son got he got severe mental health issues. So one time he had to um, you know he he got he got to keep a number in his pocket to call like if he feel like he gonna hurt himself or somebody. And then the, the cops will come and get them and take them, you know, take them to the, uh, you know, the place so they they cool them down or whatever. So he had to call. He had to call the number one time, and um, and they came and got him and called us and brought him. They brought him to the house, let us let us see him, got his stuff, stuff and all that. The cop was cool. Like if this shit was in Philly, my son might be dead or some yeah, shit like I'll that. Be or at least beat I was the gonna fuck say up. that. At least beat the fuck up. It's it's so many instances on TV, like, and this this is the things I be mad about. Where cops come for a person call, like, because they had a mental health issue. You know, you know, you're supposed to help them. them. They wind up shooting the motherfucker or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the shit I be I be I be mad about. Yeah, I would say I I, heard, I saw that happen a lot of times too. Not even just with black people, where a lot of races, different races. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, cops is vicious, but like I said, I guess. I guess they kind of more chill down here because the atmosphere is is is, is more chill and ain't all uh, turned up. Like I said, certain certain parts in Florida were were, were you know it's real super hoods everywhere turned up. But you know I'm an OG now. I ain't gonna move move to the hood. You know what I mean? Like I said, I live I live where it's nice at now, and I and I made sure it wasn't no crazy um prejudice motherfuckers, cops or or neighbor or neighbors and shit like that before I moved around here. You know what I mean? So I'm good. What's next for you, as far as with the music? With the music, um, shit, I'm gonna keep putting out music until until I come stop coming up with shit, man. Um, I want to get back into producing. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a podcast in a minute. That's what that's what the backdrop about. I'm on um, getting my shit in order for that. And um, yeah, I'm gonna just keep keep it moving, man. Um, I built a studio, so I'm, I'm eventually gonna get some um some artists because I had a lot of artists under me when I was in um. When I was back in Philly, and I had even had some when I was down in Miami, but I'm in a new town now. But when I had built my studio, like COVID had hit right after that, and um, I, I never really got it back together to the point. I never, I never looked further from um, just record myself. You know, it was good for me when COVID hit because I couldn't go outside, so I just hit the lab myself. But it's, 
as far as like look going out looking for artists and getting other people in here to record i ain't, I ain't get down to that yet but that's that's definitely coming that's definitely mm-hmm. coming Neil, what do you what do you like to do outside of music um shit man that's 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 my life i don't too much other shit i like bro <laughs> to be honest with you i like to do other shit that involves around music like uh getting with other artists um I like, like I said, I like recording other artists, um, producing other artists, but um, yeah, that's 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 it. I mean, I like cars and shit like that. You know, I'm in the um in 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 the sports cars. I like to drive sports cars fast, but you know, mostly music, dog. Mostly music. Neil, how you feel about the um, state of hip hop so far, from when you just got into it to where it's at now? um it's different now man um that's one of the things i was talking about in the song i'm not really with the with the um i was cool with trap music because um you know all that was 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 like um was like what they was doing back in the day you know talking about selling drugs in the hood and and shit going on in the hood like that's going that's going yeah it's kind of similar to the the nwa they just they just they just switched the beats up which i like too the beats was banging you know what i mean the the southern sound of the beats was was banging and um but i don't what i don't like about the drill shit i don't like the fact that they telling on themselves you know what i mean like these motherfuckers is actually killing a motherfucker and like describing how they did it and who they killed in the song and getting locked up or retaliated on but then the funny thing the funny thing they be like nigga who snitched on me who snitched on me? You like nigga, you snitched on yourself, snitched on yourself you <laughs> dumb motherfucker. <laughs> but as far as as far as the music, like I'm feeling the beats and the lyrics and all that, but the fact that they're actually telling on themselves, like they're getting on the damn stand, <laughs> they might as well be and confessing to the damn crimes. That that's what I that's what I don't like about what's happening right now. And um and I feel like I feel like um I feel like they're being manipulated to do that. You know. Our powers that be just dangling some money over their head. But I think like he, the that shit ain't even nothing like that ain't even nothing new. Like basically, I think I, I like if you look at look look back at it, I think like ever since hip hop been around, I think like we had a minute. You remember when they was like golden age, and then when we had like self destruction, and we had mm-hmm. like all them people like Queen Latifah, everybody mm-hmm. was rocking them dashikis and the chains, black power chains. Uh-huh. They stopped that shit quick. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's why I be talking about that in the song too. That's how I start the song off with, man. Cause I yeah. remember that. I think that's what got me into hip hop. Cause I was little and I was just seeing that. And I was like, damn, this shit dope. But they stopped yeah. that shit so goddamn quick. Then next thing you knew, you had like, um, you know, West Coast, Compton, and the- <laughs> Dre- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know, man. Yeah. It seemed like that shit been playing like how they got it. Cause just imagine, I like think if hip hop would have stayed on that. Black empowerment tip. Mm-hmm. All that time, 30, 40 years later, how how different our people would have been. Our right. our mindset would have been completely different if we would have been listening to that type of music instead of murder, murder, kill, kill music for the last 30 years. Murder, murder, kill, kill, get high, spend money. We've been listening to that for like 40 years now. But before, like you said, it was ladies first, um, um yeah. self-destruction, headed for self-destruction, fight the power. We had some real yeah. shit we was listening to. Yeah, and 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 that's what we was influenced by. You're you're influenced by the star that they put in your face. You know what I mean? The kids is influenced by that, man. And that's right. what I got a problem with, you know. Especially yeah, with but- my son being um, you know, having mental health issues, cause like he like he kind of weak minded. You know what I'm saying? So he gonna be he gonna be easily influenced. You know what I mean? Like, and all kids are easily influenced, but a weaker minded kid is gonna be. More easily influenced, you know what I mean. So I'd be pissed off about that shit. Even like I was looking at that shit. I was watching Hammer the other day. I was just watching his old videos. But I was like, these fools. I was thinking in my head, these fools is like they saw Hammer doing his thing, and they like, I'm gonna make us. We gonna make us a Hammer. Fucking right. we got Vanilla Ice. He needs fucking stole the song he made. All that shit. They, they like right. back then, I'm saying they they been making like so now people be like, oh, we got plants in the industry. Oh, we been have plans, bro. <laughs> we yeah. been have people that they want in the industry, and they want them to see it over the over the real. You know what I'm saying? We been had them type of plants or whatever they call. Them. Yeah, man. 
Yeah. You did. You listen to them. I I be liking um people when they talk about the new cast. Who had new cast you listening to? But don't say uh, no. Don't say J Cole. Don't say Kendrick. Don't say nothing. The man ain't new. He not new yeah. no more. Damn, it's a cat from around here. What the hell is his name? Um. Damn, what the hell is his name? Um. It's something Papa. Um. Uh, Little Papa, y'all. He a, he, a, he a Jacksonville rapper named Lil Pop. I fucks with him. You ever heard of him? No, I'm gonna let me, let me type his name in right now so I remember when we get through talking. I'll check him out. Yeah, that was my um. I don't know. Let me know what you think about what I've been saying. But you know how they've been doing the um the hip hop um the fifty years of hip hop all the little shows they've been doing. Yeah. So I I like it, but only my thing is I just feel like. They just need to balance it out a little bit. I think they just showing the old school rappers too much love. And I'll be like, man, we got to like, yeah, it's cool always showcasing the old school rappers. But I'm like, what about the future? Like, We right. got to showcase just as much as we talking about the old school rappers. We got to show the future. If we don't show the future, our shit going to die off. Like the future, we only going so far as the new generation. We we went as far as we going with the people we have now. And that's, I ain't saying nothing about that bad. But I'm just saying, I just wish they... um promote like some newer artists they always promote like all the like i said the older artists on, on a lot of them shows i've been watching yeah that's true man yeah I, I i got love for the for the new cats man i um yeah you right about that you 100 on that it should be it should be 50 years of hip-hop from yeah from the start mm-hmm. of the 50 years to today you know and it's, yeah um, then they show me like some of them cats they showing on the show i'm like shit where y'all been I ain't seen right. y'all since the show. Like, where y'all been, like, shit, the last 10 years? <laughs> like, I ain't right. seen y'all since, right. since this show. Then all of a sudden, y'all pop it up. So it's like, man, I don't know about that one. Kind of yeah. like, ugh. yeah. So, uh, shit, what I was saying, what else? What about, you got any current projects you working on? Any shows you working on? Yeah, I'm, uh, um, shit, uh, the album dropping on, on, the, on the 27th is called Old School Jewels. Mm. That's what uh, I Can't Breathe was on. And, um, that thing nice, man. That thing nice is uh is it's kinda how what it sounds like. Old school jewels. I'm on I'm on some old school shit. I got a cup I got a couple Jones that's got the eighties sound to it. One 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 sound actually sound like a motherfucker going um going back and forth on on break beat. You know what I mean? And then I got another John on there that's uh I'm just rapping over all my favorite um rock him instrumentals, man. And um, that's the two that got the '80s sound, but the rest of the rest of the songs probably got like a, a um, like a like a like a '90 early 2000 sound to them. It got you know it's heavy heavy on samples. Um, probably got like you would probably say had a, a like up north east coast flavor to it. But it's, it's, it's nice, man. I'm rapping about how I came up, and um, you know it ends off with what I what, what I can't breathe. That's that's like what I'm going through through now. My and songs I'm talking, a couple songs I'm talking about my trans transformation from um from from moving from Philly to to, to uh, Miami, and um yeah it's just nice man old school jewels so so look out for that look out for that for sure on um, November twenty seventh dropping. Yeah, I was just talking about Rakim. Um, I think they did something for it was like Nas and a couple more people, but they got together and they made like a a fund for Rakim and Scarface. They gave them like five thousand dollars a piece, and then they're giving them like lifetime insurance. Oh yeah, I heard Scarface going through some um some health shit, man. He but they gave like it to Rakim kid, too, right? Oh, Rakim. Yeah, I'm saying, no, I'm saying they just they just making this thing up where they feel like like um the some of the MCs from back in the day they got overlooked. They just coming back and like re- rewarding them. So they gave them, like I said, they gave them both five hundred thousand a piece. And then they paying mm-hmm. for their insurance for the rest of their life, both of them, Rakim and Scarface. But yeah, Scarface right. is. I think I know Scarface got some stuff going on. Yeah, yeah. I, he need he needs some type of organ, and it's um, and this is gonna cost him a lot of money to get it, like something like five hundred thousand dollars or some shit. Yeah, that's what I heard last time I I, I I watched their podcast. They was talking about that shit. That was a, that was a little while ago though, so I don't know how he doing now. What's gonna be the name of your podcast? What's up? I said, what's the name? Of, you said you was working on your podcast. I said, what's the name of it? Um, it's it's gonna be called uh, shit. To be honest with y'all, I don't even want to reveal the name of it yet, cause I ain't, I ain't trademarked it yet. 
Oh yeah, but, you need to um, go do that first. Yeah, that shit, yeah, I ain't that shit take a long time. So you must yeah. ain't gonna start no time soon, then, because I put in I'm, shit. I, the trademark take out a whole year sometimes. But once you file, once you file the paperwork, you you should be good. Oh, should okay. Be good once you file paperwork. Yeah, no, I want. I'm planning on starting it uh by the by the beginning of the year. I want I want to have it up and running. For real. But it's gonna it's gonna be about um it's gonna be about um it's gonna be it's gonna be fun and it's gonna have uh it's gonna have some financial um some financial insight in there too man and of course it's gonna be about hip hop you know now I'm just gonna ask you I would say it look like you got some stocks in the back it's gonna be good man it's gonna be good for the people yes yeah, I, yeah, I, I, like I said it's gonna have some financial some fi- you into yeah. stocks? Yeah, it's gonna have some finance in there. Yeah, hell yeah, I'm in the stocks. Hell yeah, like what? Stocks. Like what? You like? How do you? And, um, what kind of investor are you? Um, I'm a long term investor, and I um, and I day trade as well. Yeah, I be trying. I'm I'm a long term. I be trying to get to that day trade, but I don't know if I even got the time to be a day trader. Oh uh, shit! I like man. to sit there. If you learn how to do that shit, dog, you you want um you got a regular job now? Yeah. Yeah, if you, you learn how to do that shit right, you won't need no regular job. Cause you like, you fuck it. No <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, right now, my main thing I like to do is uh, I mean I like to get the EFTs, but I like to get like dividend stocks and just buy those and just let them build. But you said okay. the day trade where is that too? Yeah, man. Doing them them, them option option trade, man. Doing them calls and puts. For How sure. did you, you look? Eat all- I did that one time and I won, but I I won some money off of it, but I didn't really understand how I won it, so I didn't do it no more. <laughs> no, that's like, smart. Yeah. You don't want to keep doing it because if you don't know what you're doing, that's shit like that's shit like gambling. That's yeah, because like I was like, cause I think I was talking to somebody on the interview and they were telling me like, man, just do you. They were telling the same thing, and I just did it, but I made some money, but I did not. I think I did like a couple of them. I think I made some money off one of them, but then like two or three of them, I didn't make no money off of. So I was like. I don't understand what I'm doing, so I ain't gonna do it. Right. What what, what ETFs you, you be buying? Hold on. I think let me let me look into it right quick. Let me go on my um let me go on my thing right quick. This like I, it's like my main one I get. Man, my damn phone don't wanna work. I wanna say it's like um shit, hold on, it's coming up. It's called S P H D. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's yeah, that's my, one. that's like my main one. Like I got like ninety three shares of that. Okay. So I be, oh, you on point with that? Yeah. Then my new one, the new one I just started doing is um, it's called Invesco DB Agricultural Fund. Uh huh. Yeah, I only got five shares of that, but then a lot of them I try to get the dividend stocks. But yeah, I might have to get into that day trade too because I got another guy I know. He retired from the military. No, he do now is day trade. So it seemed like. And then my boy, um, there's another guy I you know. He was just telling me about um, read charts. He was like, man, you learn the charts. You know how to do everything. So he he added me to a Discord group where they talk about the charts all day. But like I said, I had to learn all that. How did yeah. you learn? Oh, man. Be studying studying shit off of YouTube. I watched a couple people on YouTube. Then I started studying myself, um, listening to what they said. And and, um, and then I, I started figuring it out on myself. And then I start trying that shit um, on my own without even without even from what they said, just trying that shit on my own. And I I, I got it to the point where I, you know I was making money just looking at my own shit, looking up my own shit, and doing it myself, man. But the um the the two main ones you should fuck with the safest ones are V O O and V T I. Buy them up. Um, and the, the the first one you said is a good one too. When you get up to about um, when you get up to about twenty five thousand dollars, then I then I will start day trading after that. Cause um, if you don't got twenty five thousand dollars until you get twenty five thousand dollars on your brokerage account, you can only make three three trades a week, three day I'll trades t- a week. V O O and what? V O O and V T I. Yeah, I mean, I got like. My like my whole account, I got like about twenty in there, but I got all that invested. Okay, so you say no, that's get- cool. So 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 keep going. So you ain't you, you ain't too far off. 
So once you once you got twenty five thousand invested of of stocks to steady, that ain't gonna be like jumping up and down. You ain't gonna be losing no crazy money. Then you put then you put some in there to, to day trade with, like 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 you want like maybe five percent of that that you can day trade with. So like twelve fifty twenty five hundred more than that, and then then you just then you just once you once you like start studying how to do that shit now, or um, you said you got a homie that, that's good at it already, right? Yeah, yeah. Get him, get him to show you the pointers at that shit, man. Get him to show you the pointers, and um, yeah. Once you once you over twenty five grand, you could trade every day as as much as you want. Every day, so you wouldn't be able to like quit your job or nothing. You said get to twenty five. And once you're comfortable, I don't know how much money you make or how much money you need to make to pay your bills. Once you, once you, once you hitting that every day, um, you know you want to hit more than that every day because you got to pay taxes or whatever. But once you hit more than that every day for a while, then you like, man, I can I can live off of this, man. You tell tell the motherfucking crackers kiss your ass. <laughs> I, I think I think I ain't gonna lie. I think my number shit. My number would be five. My number, I think, like just to me on some greedy shit. I, I'll say my number is a thousand a day. But I know if I get the, if I get like the five hundred a day, I quit. Right, right, right. I right. know if I get the five hundred, I ain't shit. Fuck that. I get it. If I can make five hundred every day, I'm right. out. Yeah, yeah. And some of them people that I used to watch that that I learned from that was their um that was their goal and that was their goal to teach the um to teach the people that was watching them to make a to make a thousand a day. But you know, to make a thousand a day, you you gotta you gotta you gotta gamble a nice portion. You know what I mean? So you you will you will need you will need you will need more than twenty five hundred to um to play with you know what I mean yeah that's why I said five hundred if I can make shit, if I can make five yeah if I can make five hundred a day I take that but I say I'll be doing that shit like oh uh, yeah five days because you only can do it five days a week but yeah if right. I can make five hundred yeah that I, shit I could I could work with that I'll probably just keep trying to work too though shit I just like making money yeah I, I feel that ain't nothing wrong with that man and shit, yeah, I got, got a job little... I'll be like. That's cool. Yeah, I got a little That's cozy cool. job now. It ain't, it ain't even that bad, man. I be um, and I work from home, so shit. I work from home. That shit, I almost feel like I ain't working that much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Instead, right. I ain't going nowhere, so I be like, put my motherfucking yep. mask on, go to work. <laughs> and you know, like, <laughs> you know, like Mayweather, Mayweather, when he was saying he be robbing them promoters, you know, I be feeling it ain't free money. But and then I I use that money to invest, you know. So I like just having money to put in so I can invest more, but. I think what my goal was at first, I was going to just, um, I was going to just keep investing, keep investing. Then when it was time to me to retire, I was going to probably take it out, but I, I need to get to that day right. trade. I think I'm, a, um, I want to say it's a dude on YouTube named like Chris Wayne or something. I know he be talking about a lot of stuff. Black guy, man. I know his first name is Chris. I might be wrong with his long, last name, but I think his last name is Swain. Chris Wayne? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good person to follow, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah follow him. He was one of the um he was one of the people I was paying attention to that I like really paid attention to and like now I know what know what I'm doing now. Yeah. Yeah, then it'd yeah. be another guy, it'd be another guy on YouTube. I mean um on Instagram, his name like um like F U I L O Auto. But it's a white guy. But he be sitting mm -hmm. on like he go on live, that motherfucker be writing mm -hmm. that shit out to your ass, showing you. But I just don't mm -hmm. like I said, I know like, I don't know. I'd be on some simple shit. i just be like, I buy what I like. And then, mm -hmm. like, if, if I understand it, I buy it. And then I just be thinking about, like, I remember when COVID happened. I was like, damn. So what's the shit still staying strong during COVID? I was like, McDonald's still strong. Coca-Cola's mm -hmm. still strong. So I was just buying. I'm yeah. just... I just buy yeah, common sense stocks. shit. They're yeah, good I, I just yeah. I'm just using my common sense to buy stocks. I don't even be doing no charts or all the other shit. So I feel like once I do learn that. Um, I'll be better, but I think I'm just basically cause I, my my major psychology. So I guess I just basically be investing off psychology or how people think, yeah, and shit like that. Yeah. Well, that's cool for the long term investment, like you doing now, cause like you you you're buying shit that makes sense. You can't go wrong buying Coca Cola and, and McDonald's. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know they have been around forever. They ain't going nowhere. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? But but once you if you want to start day trading, like doing the calls and puts. That's when you want. That's when you want to learn the charts because you you got to know if it's going up or if it's going down. How far is going up? How far is going down? How long is going up? How long is going down? All that type of shit, so you can make the money and not and not lose the money. You know. All right. 
So I'm gonna say, man, we gonna I'm gonna have to get back with you uh sometime next year, man. Like before the year over, either we try to do it in July or we try to do it like around this time next year. But next mm-hmm. time I'm gonna talk to you more about options. I'm I'm gonna learn some shit, then I'm gonna come to you what I know. We're gonna talk. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's cool. deeper than rap, man. We get too old to just talk about rap all day. Yeah, we man. Talk about we how to get money. money. <laughs> yeah, we got talk about money. Cause shit, ain't no <laughs> point. Like that's my thing, man. I know it personally, man. It's like so many rappers that they ain't making no money. So I'm like, fuck, bro. Like this, you know, you know, make some yeah. money out this shit somehow. Like don't just be rapping the rap. That shit ain't like. And then people get get they you know they they raping you the deal yeah, and everything yeah. like no you go to get some money out this shit and get out this ain't even for us man like this shit like you see yeah. how this shit be going they be trying to take us out anyway so you know you gotta yeah. get in get out and get your money and I noticed myself a lot of rappers um a lot of artists in general they just use rap to go to their other thing and promote their other thing so it's like rap is just like for their promotion to build their brand up. But then what they once they got that brand it's a step like, like, like Jay Z. Jay Z is the king of that it's shit. A like, song. Any, yeah, anything Jay Z puts his name on now, he's making a billion off that shit. So it's crazy. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you like, I, I um, never had a record deal, man, because I never want to get fucked. Yeah, I would say I don't know why, man, but you kinda reminded me of Emilio Sparks. <laughs> okay. Yeah, really? I had him on the show, but you just kinda reminded me of him. Y'all y'all ain't related or nothing, are you? No, 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 no. Yeah, no, you no. kind of reminded me. Which you know about skin on Sparks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably the Philly swag, man. We, you know. Yeah, we that's that was my shit. You know, I thought that's I thought I was I thought I was a member of state property back in the day. You couldn't tell me nothing. That shit was uh-huh. that shit was cold. I, I like them way better than um. I just like how they broke. They kind of had their own little thing aside from Rockefeller and the movies and stuff. Like, yeah. I, I was really a fan of uh, Beanie Siegel, man. So yeah, I feel you on the Beanie Siegel. But I say you had anything, anything you want to leave the listeners with? Um, yeah, just just check me out, man. Um, follow me on social media. Um, on Instagram, it's suspense recording. No e, no e at the end of suspense. Suspense recording. On uh, Facebook would be suspense the don. Um, Twitter is suspense the don. Um, I'm about to start pumping shit on on, on YouTube now. Um, YouTube is uh is suspense recording. You know, um, yeah, check me out. Look out for that album dropping, Old School Jewels, uh, dropping November 27th on all platforms. And um, shit, I got I got a catalog, man. I got I got crazy music, man. I've been doing this forever. I, I always had my own studio, man. When I when I used to sell dope and all that, I brought studio equipment, so I ain't had to go pay um, you know, pay pay studio time because that's like that's the it's cheap now because everybody got home studios and all that shit and know, know how to work that magic. But back in the day. That studio time in them big studios was 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 money, so um yeah I, I got music for days man check check your boy out man on um on all the platforms it's, it's suspense <clears throat> there's a bunch of fraud ass suspenses out there now so s u s p n s and uh you know nigga with the with the with the dreads you 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 see you see me look for, look for the face when you type in suspense check that catalog out uh, you want to hit them with your social media and everything. Social media, like I said, um, Twitter, Suspense the Don, Facebook at Suspense the Don, Instagram, Suspense Recording, and um, all the music platforms, Instagram, um, iTunes, uh, um, all that shit is just Suspense. S U S P E N S, and look for the nigga that look like me with the dress, so you don't you don't click on one of them fraud ass suspenses. You say your name's um your Instagram suspense the um recording? Yeah, suspense recording. Yeah, that's my record label. I always have my own record label. Yeah, that's how you've been doing this for a while, huh? Yeah, I started my record label in ninety nine, man. Fresh out of high school. What made you want to start it that long? Um, like I said, I never really wanted a record deal because um it seemed like artists got fucked. If you wasn't like a Jay Z or or uh or Puff Daddy, like owning the label. So that's that's the thing I always wanted to own, own my own label. Yeah, how long you been growing your hair? Man, over over twenty years. Yeah, I'm about two years, years in, man. Okay. <laughs> but my shit ball cool. right here in the front, but I'm still like rocking with it. Like fuck it, this is my last ride. Right. So what makes you want to grow it? 
Um, I had I had I had a fro and I had the corn rolls and um like I got like I liked I I wanted to keep growing it so eventually I had to lock it up. What else was I gonna do, man? You know, yeah. Plus, if you want to get biblical to me, that, that that that's how they describe Jesus rocking his hair. You know what I mean? It's funny. I used to tell my grandma that she was like, "Boy, you need to cut them dreads off." I said, "Grandma, this is how Jesus wore his hair." <laughs> what she say there? Nothing. Can't say nothing there, huh? Like, look at me like I was crazy. <laughs> you was about to say something. You said once you get, you was about to say something about my dreads. You said once I get what? Oh, once they start growing, it'll cover that shit up, man. Yeah. And once they start growing, you ain't got to worry about that. Yeah, I like the freedom, man. These damn barbers, just bro. Pull that they, shit back and on. Yeah. These barber costs is crazy right now. I can't. Barbers is taxing. Oh yeah, ain't a, ain't a, ain't a haircut like fifty dollars or more than that right now. Man, they they done came out of COVID with Avengers, bro. <laughs> I seen the food charging a hundred. <laughs> I'm like hundred. Fuck you, get that from. Then then Jada. Yeah, Jada I know. Was, I know the upper end people is, is probably a hundred dollars. Cause like I'm like I mean when I say fifty dollars, I mean like the the regular Joe Smo barber is like fifty dollars. Yeah, man. I remember last yeah. time I took my son to get a cut. That shit. That shit was that shit was fifty dollars, and it, and I just went to a random barber shop when I when when, when last time I went to Philly. Yup, man, I want to take a couple. Of you you are Cali, right? Yeah, I'm in San Diego. San Diego, okay. Oh, yeah, man. I'm San Diego Po, man. You asked about ask them out here in San Diego, they know about me. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I, I like I like San Diego, man. I like San yeah, Diego. Yeah, I'm actually uh. I'm in San Diego County. The city I'm in is called Oceanside, but I'm actually okay. it's called Oceanside because I'm really by the ocean. Like we like uh, I'm like right down the street from the ocean. So, yeah, yeah, yeah cool. I love the ocean too. That's one. That's one of the reasons I moved to Florida too, man. The water is trifling up in Philly, man. The water beautiful, and down here, yeah, I always wanted to, uh, all my life. I wanted to live even either in Cali or uh, or Florida, man. I chose Florida. It was um, it was. Is is more financially easy. If I'd have moved out Cali, I'd have I'd have, I'd have been in trouble, man. I'd have been on, uh, I'd have been buying dope shit in the home. So <laughs> I was trying to get out of trouble when I moved out of Philly. So I, I, I chose I chose um down here because I ain't I only knew positive people down here. Like I knew DJs and shit on radio stations. Cali, I, I knew um I knew a bunch of connects. Uh, dope, dope. <laughs> you, you, you connects out there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm saying, man. But yeah, man, we're gonna have to link back up in like a couple, like I said, um, sometime this year. I'm gonna let you know, talk about just what's going on and options and stocks and all that good stuff. Okay, man. Yeah, I'm I'm always here, man. I'm always here. Um, yeah, how how how, how can I how can I reach you? Like from email or something? Um, you probably don't want to say that online. No, you good. I just I just followed you on um on my Instagram. My Instagram is popolitikin. Then my email is popolitikin at gmail. Okay. All right. I follow. But yeah. Once you, once you, you um, communicate through there. Yeah. Once you hit me up on um, on, I just followed you on IG, so you know they got my email and shit on there right there. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. No doubt, man. I'm a, um, shit. I'm gonna be in touch, dog. You, you sound yeah, like for a good sure, brother. Man. Good yeah, brother. I'm, I'm, yeah. I try to do my thing, man. Like I said, I've been um, I don't know how much you know about me, but I started doing this in like 2008. Mm -hmm. I interview a lot of folks, bro. I've been doing this for a minute, so I interview a lot of uh, a lot of the up, a lot of the old school rappers, but a lot of the upcoming before they became upcoming. So like, I had uh, I actually had Yo Gotti on the show before he blew up, Currency before he blew up, um, mm -hmm. Meg Thee Stallion before she blew up, The Baby before she blew up, but then I had like MC Light on the show, BG. Um, I had Jay Prince on twice. That's like my okay. favorite. That's like my most. Favorite thing I had him on twice, so I'm like, damn, I'm cool with Jay. Mm. Yeah, so, shit, you big time, dog. I appreciate yeah. you. Uh, you giving me a small fish like me some tick, shit. Yeah, Jay Prince, like shit. I said once I hooked up with Jay Prince, I was like, you know how most sometimes you get you get like um discouraged. Well, I was like, mm -hmm. damn, I fucked fucked around talking to Jay Prince off this shit. I was like, I'm on it now, so I'll probably yeah. just keep doing it till I, I be I'm gonna be an old dude doing this shit. <laughs> right, right. I don't know for sure, but that 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 boy from Jacksonville I told you about, Lil Pop. I heard he signed to Yo Gotti. You mentioned his name. Okay, that yeah, I'm actually about to go look. I'm gonna look him right now because I got his um, I got his music up, so I'm gonna go check him out. I might try to hit him up or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was young cat. I don't know what the young cats be on, man. I think Vlad be paying these fools too much. I saw one dude; he just got out of jail. He talking about I want ten thousand a podcast interview. 
pay you no goddamn ten thousand for no goddamn yeah. interview. Yeah, yeah, they be tripping because um, cause I, cause, cause I wanna, I wanna start some um, cause this, this is like small town where I'm at, and I wanna start some some hip hop shit where I'm doing shows and all this type of shit. And um, when I start asking people, like nobody personally told me, but like some people I was trying to partner up with that was, you know, from up here and would know more than me. They was telling me that shit like um. Like these these small rappers that ain't even nobody yet gonna want me to pay them. I'm like pay them. I'm I'm a I'm a, I'm giving them exposure and, and and a light. What you mean pay them? Like it should be the like other if way. They sell some tickets. I split the ticket sales with them or whatever. And I ain't just gonna pay these motherfuckers for for nothing. You know what I mean? Shit like that. Yeah, that's what I say. I think some of these, um, but you got podcasts out here doing it, but they don't understand. Podcasts that pay for you, then the podcast that's for basically paying on you to rat on your goddamn self. So right. hey, <laughs> you paying yeah. to rat on yourself. You basically paying to get indicted. Right. They, they paying you, but your ass gonna get indicted right after the interview. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> All right, man. But well, we out till the next time, brother. All right, peace, man. Thanks for having me.